you brought up the subject of CAR T cells. There are two uh, abstracts at this meeting, one from uh, Bluebird and one from China, uh, reporting pretty interesting results with CAR T cell therapy. Uh, who wants to take that one? Saad, are you, you want to give us sure, a Sure, sure. I, I, can, I can take on, on the um, Bluebird uh, CAR T cell because I think the other one is a late-breaking um, right. abstract. Correct. Um, so at least in the abstract, I think the six patients um, uh, that they reported on, the most striking thing was, was not the response rate. Um, you know, we would anticipate that that strategy would work. What was more impressive was, was the low rate rates of uh, cytokine release syndrome. Yeah. I think there, there were only grade one or two that were reported. And so just for yeah. the audience, the, 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 this has already been pub reported last year with, uh, I think, six patients that had all responded to CAR T cell therapy, but with relatively short follow-up. And I think we're going to get an update in a couple of days on, on a larger data set. Yes. Um, the Chinese uh, abstract with late-breaking one reports um, 15, 14 out of 19 patients entering a complete remission. Does that, does that mm -hmm. impress you, Tom? That does impress me. Uh, the, the Bluebird impress, impresses me also. In fact, all of the CAR-T data, you know, of the patients treated uh, at the NIH and at Penn and by Bluebird, I think there was 32 patients. There were 16 of the patients that had a response. The patients that didn't have a response were almost all treated at the lower doses of T-cells. If you take the patients that are treated at the higher dose uh, of T-cells, the response rate is really upwards of 70 plus percent. I mean, th we have to be impressed by and these data. And these are now, oh. the, the, well, Sagar, caveats to that, please. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think, um, you know, the response rate is probably not the right endpoint in these trials because we know from ALL and AML, or certainly ALL and large cell lymphoma, the response rates are very high, but the cells are not persistent, and so the PFS is not as long as one would like. Now, this data certainly looks very impressive, and I think BCMA is, in my mind, the best target for something yes. like both this. Both these, yes. we should have started by saying that both these yeah. are targeting BCMA. 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 Yeah, uh, and so I think this is certainly a strategy worth trying to understand and explore, but I think it's, you know, how can you make them? How practical is it to give them? Are you, are you picking patients that can wait six months for cells to be made before yeah. you treat them? I mean, it, there's a lot of details there. And to my knowledge, with the Bluebird, I think uh, they had a BCMA expression uh, cutoff of 50% or more, right, right. And, and the disease burden had to be you know, less than 50% plasma cytosis. So, so, so it was a little restrictive in the burden of disease you could have and the BCMA expression. So, so we are doing the, the Bluebird at our Rochester site, we are doing the Bluebird study. and. Uh, I think what's been most interesting about it is the fact that there's not been a lot of toxicity as compared to some other acute leukemia and lymphoma trials mm -hmm. and other constructs even in myeloma right. to the extent that I think the belief is we can move this to the outpatient setting which is big and, and I, I, we're pretty excited about it actually. It looks really good. No, it is. It's very exciting. Do you think it will replace transplant one day? Well, you know, um, it might. So how are you going to place them in the context of bispecific antibodies? So that, that's the, you know that's what, the 60 I asked, million dollar well, plus I asked, question. So I asked Carol June this. He was visiting us mm -hmm. recently at Mayo as a guest speaker. And, and I asked him the same question. He said, well, look at acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He said, CAR T treated patients in, in remission for years. Look at the bite data, not so good. So I think he, he was yeah. making I mean, the case that the bites have a role. Uh, but it's not going to have the deep, long remissions that you see with, with CAR T, so in his opinion at least. I, I think what, what you see with CAR T cells is that the affinity of the antibody to the antigen is probably a log, if not higher, uh, greater than with, with antibodies. Okay. Um, I think the other thing that's, coming, that's emerging from the CAR T cell data is, you know, we talk about all these responders, but really the people that are doing well are the ones that achieve a CR. If you don't achieve a CR, right. Your, your, your progression Or if is, the cells are gone. Or if the yeah. cells are gone. Or, or so the, the cells most yeah. of the patients, mm -hmm. the, cell, gonna, the cells are gone yeah. after mm -hmm. like right. six weeks. But if you achieve a CR with MRD negativity, yeah, I mean, different. Who, yeah. and you've truly cured the patients, I mean, you don't need the cells anymore. So that would argue for using uh, a bite. I'm using a bite? Yeah. Right. So, by, so the bite, you could, the bite you, you could give them for a longer period. But the bites could exposure. come in after CAR T cell therapy. So, you know, I think the, the, kind of the right. challenge, and, and I like the bites and bite specific mm -hmm. ideas. I think it's an off the shelf, easier way Absolutely. to deal mm -hmm. with this. But the problem is, you need to somehow activate immune function, which means you're probably going to give a bite or a bite specific with an IMID 
um, in order to try and get that T-cell effect that you're getting sort of built in with the car. So I think they're trade-offs. Um, and I suspect we're going to be testing bytes, ADCs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and CAR T-cells right. all the, going after the right. same target. That's the good news. Yeah, yeah. 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 so this is, <laughs> we're still, it's still hard to find trials for our patients to go on. There's this issue of how we're going to scale this. And, yeah. you know, for the community doctors that might be listening in, it's still kind of hard to find slots for patients. And it, but it's coming fast, I think, mm -hmm. is the, the short answer.